You know, there's a lot of discussion going on right now about two things. This New York Times opinion ad piece that was done by some anonymous person. And then, of course, the Nike commercial, and they're featuring Colin Kaepernick that, uh, you know, kind of has a lot of us roiled. But in a way, this Nike commercial is tied to this New York Times op-ed piece. <music> Greetings, everyone. Lieutenant Colonel Alan West, Senior Fellow at the Media Research Center. The Nike commercial stressed this tagline of, Believe in something even if it means sacrificing everything. And so when I think about this New York Times opinion ed piece, I think about why this individual who wrote this op-ed anonymously, if they truly believe in something, why aren't they willing to sacrifice everything? Do they want to continue to stay there within the Trump administration and receive a paycheck from us, the American taxpayers, so that they can be a part of this resistance? this deep state that they say, I think that it is a very cowardly thing to be within the Trump administration and to anonymously write an opinion ed piece and give it to the New York Times, all for what? Your own personal self-interest? See, having spent 22 years in the United States Army and having had a father who served in World War II, having had an older brother who served in Vietnam as a Marine infantryman, having a nephew now that is serving in the United States Army who's done three combat tours of duty. See, we believed in something, and we were willing to sacrifice everything for that. And we took pride upon the fact that we wore the uniform of the United States of America. When I think about people that have believed in something, and they were willing to sacrifice everything for it, I think about the men and women. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guardsmen. They don't get the chance to be out there anonymous. They may not be known to us, but they're known to their friends and to their family members. And they're especially known forever when they make that ultimate sacrifice, that last full measure of devotion that Abraham Lincoln talked about in his Gettysburg Address. See, I don't think it's courageous for a person to write an anonymous op-ed that seeks to undermine our elected president of the United States of America. I don't see it as being something courageous. I see it as being quite cowardly. See, those men and women who are out there every single day, they have tough decisions to make. Those tough decisions are based upon the fact that they believed in something. They're not millionaire athletes that are going to get a paycheck because they somewhat believe in some social justice theme. They haven't put anything like their lives on the line for. When I think about believing in something and willing to sacrifice everything, I think about an NFL player by the name of Pat Tillman who answered the call of service for this nation. And after 9-11, he hung up his cleats and his pads and he put on a uniform. He became a United States Army soldier. He became an airborne ranger and sadly lost his life. He lost everything. See, I'm up here right now in Washington, D.C., visiting with my dear friends here at the Media Research Center. And when you fly over that certain path coming into DCA, Washington Reagan Airport, and you go over Arlington National Cemetery, you see those people that believed in something, and they were willing to sacrifice everything. And one of the people that is buried there in All International Cemetery is my wife's dad, my father-in-law, Keith Graham, Master Sergeant, United States Army, retired, two tours in Vietnam. See, the person that wrote this op-ed piece to the New York Times, I challenge you to come out and tell us who you are. Because after all, the American people are signing your paycheck. Show us whether or not you have that true sense of courage. Show us whether or not you do believe in something. Or are you just a person that is willing to sit back and try to undermine the effectiveness and that which so many soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guardsmen believe in, these great United States of America. I'm not going to put any credence into this New York Times opinion ed piece until I know the person, the pendant, 
man or woman, it does not matter. If you're an American, you will stand up for what you believe in. If you're a coward, you will stay anonymous.